I'm back with another video. Today we have Pokimane's editor situation is insane. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Tell me why he proceeds to tell me that the reason why he would sometimes turn around videos a week or two late is because he couldn't stop touching himself well guys i uh, i don't really know how to introduce this one today we are looking at a bit of a wacky streaming situation like we i don't know why i'm smiling that it's not funny somebody dox him and trick shot him up close like what We've been doing pretty often these days, it seems, but uh, this one is a little bit different than what we're used to. If you've been on the internet for any significant amount of time, then it's almost a given that you are familiar with the name Pokimane. If you haven't, then she's one of the biggest streamers ever, and even if you've never heard her name, you would probably recognize her if you saw her. Now, Pokimane has had a bit of a rocky career, I guess you could say. She's definitely no stranger to controversy or hates, but we're not really talking about anything of that nature today it's actually something that's just significantly worse now if you haven't heard of pokimane's editor situation then i'm not going to spoil it for you well that's a lie because i probably put something at the very beginning of the video but despite that i'm going to try and let you go in as blind as possible hey guys uh august from the future here i would like to report that i did indeed spoil it for everybody within the first 15 seconds of the video so uh you're welcome. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. So maybe I'll tell you guys now, okay? Okay, but it's gonna be a secret between us. Okay. <laughs> because I thought of it, because when I was reading this, and the message was actually nice, I was like, why do I feel bad? Like, I actually want to forgive this person. And I think that's a me problem. Yeah, I think this is a you problem. The stuff this woman is about to say is genuinely insane. I really kind of hope that she's just saying it to try and look good. Not that it even really makes her look good, but you'll see what I mean. Because if she's being serious, this is crazy. Many, many years ago, when I was like super omega active on YouTube, and I was working with a lot of different editors. There was one editor in particular that I would work with a lot because his edits were really, really good, but he had one major problem, which was that sometimes out of nowhere, his videos would just be like a week or two late. And when you're trying to upload consistently, and when that's really important for the algorithm, it's kind of a problem but his edits were fucking heat. So I was just like, I don't know. I was like trying to make it work with him and I would ask him like, is there anything that I can help with? Anything that I can do to kind of like make it easier to be on time? And like, you're welcome to tell me if you're gonna be a bit slower with the upload so that maybe we can work around it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so if you haven't seen this video or you haven't seen this clip somewhere, I would like you to guess what you think is causing this editor to be so behind on these edits. And keep in mind, she's not saying that he was occasionally late by a day or two. She is saying that he is consistently, repeatedly being late by weeks. So just take a guess. You don't have to comment it if you don't want to. Just have a guess in your mind, okay? Months go by and he messages me out of the blue and he says, hey, do you have time to talk? I'm ready to finally tell you why I've been struggling so much with deadlines. And I said, oh, like, great. Hopefully this is something that we can fix. Tell me why he proceeds to tell me that the reason why he would sometimes turn around videos a week or two late is because he couldn't Stop touching himself? Yeah, so. Switch to Chrome to load your favorite sites fast so you can browse with ease. Wow, uh, how cool. I promise you, I ain't laughing at that little cringe bag. It's her. That's crazy, bro. You, you touching your. close was your guess. I went for a moment to really think about the logistics of this statement because Pokimane here is never going to go into them, which I think is fair, to be honest. But if you are editing... 
what made her start talking about this? Isn't this years old? I mean, if you were broke, boy, you didn't say that. She was talking to y'all like y'all sitting there with a beer bone watching Peppa Pig. That's crazy. I forgive her, though. I like her. I think she, yeah, I like her vibe. Let's continue, man. Reading for somebody, and you jerking off to the footage they send you causes you to miss deadlines by That's crazy. weeks. Week with an S, plural weeks. What are you doing? Like, actually, how do you jerk off that much and for that long that you end up missing a deadline by half a month? You would have to be treating beating your dick like a 9 to 5. And then, the part of this that I think is significantly worse, you've got to imagine. I mean, you really have to consider the fact that nobody would ever tell another living soul this if they didn't think it might give them a chance. I mean, seriously, why would you ever tell a person that you were addicted to jerking off of footage of them if you didn't think that might give you an in or something. Because clearly she didn't really care. She was still hiring him. She was still sending him work. He could have just made up a reason why he was late. There is a very specific reason why he chose to tell her this. I was trying to pick which word to use. To me, his in a way employer of many, many months. When I tell you I've never halted a conversation so fast, because I'm like, you are the person that I send, like, hours of footage to. I don't want to know what you're jacking it to. I don't want to know more. I shouldn't, I shouldn't even know how much I know right now. I shouldn't know. But I felt so bad. And I have firsthand experience kind of seeing how much... Ew, don't, uh, where's that sentence going? I have firsthand experience seeing other people struggle with addiction. So firsthand, shut up. I mean, like I've seen people that I've even lived with struggle with addiction. So when he's like, you know, like this is like an addiction of mine. I genuinely, I genuinely felt really, really bad. So I still paid him for months. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This is what I was saying. I'm hoping she's just kind of putting on an act about because come on, there is a difference between being sympathetic with people struggling with addiction and feeling so bad for somebody with an addiction that you basically end up enabling it. Look, I'm not trying to like retroactively blame this woman. I promise you this is a pretty low stakes situation in my mind, but you can't say you feel so bad for people with addictions and then turn around and say that a person came to you and said, hey, I'm addicted to jerking off to the normal footage you see me and your response was okay i'm gonna pay you to keep doing it i mean come on yes addiction is awful and it's hard to see somebody go through it but still allowing this to continue to happen and possibly making him feel like it's okay is arguably the worst thing you could do so if she really felt so bad that she felt like she had to continue to let it happen that's a can of worms in and of itself just because i i i didn't want to be the reason that he like didn't have enough money i don't i don't know you know was it extremely inappropriate of him to tell me yeah i also didn't tell anyone for years and then years later i told my manager and she's <laughs> she looks at me like this <laughs> she's like bitch the fuck i was like yeah i was too shy to tell anyone <laughs> um yeah it was a little kooky beans it was a little kooky beans but like n there is no guidebook on what to do in a situation like that you know what i mean no uh, i actually don't literally any employer on the planet would have done one of two things one and this is the one your editor was hoping for they would engage in an inappropriate relationship with their employee or two being the much more normal and sane one they would fire that person on the spot no questions asked there is definitely a guidebook on what to do when your employee tells you that they're so obsessed with you that they spend weeks jerking off to videos of you it's called common sense let's be real what the what the hell do i do what's that kill him? what the fuck fire him am i even allowed to f <laughs> somebody said <said> kill him. <laughs> somebody said kill him. I 
I don't know, I feel like I got like some natural high something right now, some euphoria like feeling. I don't know where it comes from. Cause this not even funny. Like, I don't know why I'm smiling. It must I don't know. Let's continue, man. Fire someone cause they're <laughs> cause they're jacking off too much. I don't know! Ah, I don't know! Okay, do you guys see what I mean? These are not the thoughts of an actual person. I mean, unless Pokimane is so far detached from reality, which I can't imagine that being the case, that she thinks this is actually okay in an employer-employee relationship setting, or really any setting whatsoever, I just can't imagine a person saying this and meaning it. I don't know if this is like clip bait or if she's just trying to look good for people or what, but I have a really hard time believing what she's saying is genuine. I was like, is that, um, prejudicial? <laughs> is that prejudicial? I do, I will say, like, I really, really have a soft spot for addiction. Um, and I explain why in next week's podcast episode, I tell a story that I've never told before. And you guys will understand why both in this instance and why I've been so outspoken against the promotion of gambling on Twitch and how important regulations around things that are addictive are. Yada, yada, yada. Anyways, y'all get it, right? Uh, no. I, uh, I really cannot say that I do. I have also been close to people with addiction, and this is a completely different thing. There is a very clear and stark difference, I feel, between somebody coming to you as an employee and saying, Hey man, I have some issues with alcohol or drugs or whatever. I know it's affecting my work. Can we please try and work something out? That's one thing. Your employee coming to you and saying, I'm addicted to you, and I can't stop jerking off to my work is not the same thing. I can appreciate somebody having sympathy towards those with addiction, but there is a point where trying to be too overly accommodating just ends up being harmful. This is past that point. Well guys, what do you think? Am I being a little bit too harsh? In a perfect world, would employees be able to jork their peanuts to their employer as much as they want with no repercussions? Maybe I'm just a cold, heartless bastard or something, but this kind of reaction to somebody telling you this is insane to me. And the people in the chat saying she should have paid for his therapy, that might even be crazier. I'm assuming this person was an adult. If you're a big boy, it's time to take care of yourself. Expecting somebody to accommodate something like that is genuinely bonkers. You won't convince me otherwise. If you enjoyed this video, please. Well, that's it for this video. Who is the individual? What were his settings? Were he a, was he a EDP? Or was he a wings of redemption with no wings? I think I know which one it was, but I mean, if you were broke, boy, you didn't say that. I, I can't get over it. I still rock with Pokemon. Yeah, I like her vibe, like, and I think she cute. Uh, That's it for this video, man. I don't know what's going on today, man. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X. Formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. Oh, dude, I like the I like the video. Wow, us versus them, man. I see y'all in the next video. I'm out.